Hello everyone. We will start with a new topic and our new topic is how to create transaction code for tables which are maintained through SM30 transaction code. Now, firstly, we all know what is transaction code. It is a shortcut. It is a shortcut for what? A BAP workbench tools or we can say it is a shortcut for various SAP applications. Suppose SC11 is a transaction code or shortcut for what? A BAP dictionary. SC38 is a transaction code or shortcut for a BAP editor. Now, we need to create a transaction code for the tables which are maintained through which transaction code? SM30 transaction code. Now, if we will go for recap, what we did in the previous videos of a BAP dictionary, we created the order header table, we created the order item table. How we maintain the data into those tables? We went to SM30 transaction code, and we maintain that data into those tables. Suppose, if I will show you the steps, what are the various steps we did at that point of time? We went to which transaction code? SM30. We gave that table name. Suppose we are taking order at a table. And we click on to which button? Maintain button. And we maintain the data. Now what customer is saying? I will not go for all these things. Just give me a transaction code or give me a shortcut. Whenever I will put that shortcut, control should directly come to this screen and I will maintain the data. Customer is saying, no, I will not go to SM30. I will not put the table name. I will not click on to maintain button. When just give me a transaction code or shortcut, whenever I will put that transaction code, control should directly, directly come to the screen and my team will maintain that data directly. So now we will learn how to create a shortcut or transaction code for this particular tables, which are maintained through SM30. Now, Whenever you want to create your own transaction codes, so there is a transaction code and the transaction code is SC93. If someone asks you how you can create your own transaction codes, we can create our own transaction codes through SC93 transaction codes. Create our own transaction codes. We can create our own transaction codes through SM30 transaction codes. Now, what we will do, we will go to SC93 transaction code and we will create a transaction code for all these steps. Now, we will go to SC93 transaction code. Now we are creating our own transaction code. So first name should start with Z or Y. And we will give a very small name because it is a transaction code. It is a shortcut. Suppose I am saying order head. Suppose I am writing OH, Z O H. I will go to create button. Now I will give the short description. Transaction code for order header table. Now, whenever you want to create a transaction code for the tables which are maintained through SM30 transaction code, always, always choose the fifth radio button transaction with parameters in the future. We will go for other radio buttons also depends upon the requirement. 
as of now, we are creating transaction code for that table, which is maintained through SM30. So we will choose the fifth radio button transaction with parameters. I'll go for OK. Now we'll go for various things. We will pass the various things one by one. Firstly, just recall the steps and we will do all these things here. But the first step we are doing, we are going to which transaction code SM30. So what the transaction code we are putting SM30. SM30. Now, after going to SM30 transaction code, what you are doing after that, you are passing the table name. You are passing the table name. So firstly, I will save this transaction code. I will save it as a local object. Now I will give the table name. How to give the table name? Just scroll down and go for this particular column, name of screen field. Whenever you will go for F for help, you will find so many things there. Choose view name. Choose view name. And in front of this, pass the name of the table which you are maintaining through SM30 previously. Now we gave the name of the table. I'll just copy paste. We are just automating the process. We are creating a shortcut so that there's no need for customer to do all these things. So firstly, we gave that transaction code SM30. We gave that table name. After that, we clicked on to which button maintain button and this screen came. Now customer will not click on to maintain button. It should automatically click and the control should come to this screen. It means we need to make it true. Whenever you are clicking something, it is true. So we have always, always two things. One is true and one is false. Now, Customer will not click. Customer will not click on to maintain button. Maintain button should be automatically clicked. It means we need to pass the maintain button to true. We need to pass the maintain button as the value as capital X. Remember, whenever you are setting something as true in SAP, the value is always, always capital X. Now, how we will give? I will go for again F for help. Just see, whenever we will, whenever we want the true value for maintain button, we will simply choose update. And what the value will be? Capital X. Capital X. Do not put small x, put capital X. Because we want to automatically click or maintain button should be automatically clicked. So we put the value of that button as capital X. And what is the corresponding thing for the same update? Now, whenever you click on to maintain button, this initial screen of SM30 is skipped. This initial screen of SM30 is skipped. So means we need to check which particular checkbox skip initial screen. So just see previously, whatever you did, we create a transaction code for all these steps. Firstly, what is the thing you went to SM30? You gave that table name. Have we given that table name? Yes. We clicked on to maintain button. Have we put update is equal to capital X? Yes, it means maintain will be automatically clicked. Have we skipped the initial screen also? Yes, we skipped the initial screen. Now we will simply, simply select these three checkboxes so that our transaction code will work on all types of GUI. If there is a GUI for Windows, there is a GUI for Java, there is a GUI for HTML. As of now, our GUI is for the Windows. So, but it's a best practice. You can select all the three checkboxes. Now I will go for save. 
so now our transaction code is ready ready now we will simply give that transaction code to the customer and customer now will accept this thing suppose if this is a transaction code how i can do slash n what is transaction code z o h and have you seen i directly move on to this particular thing customer will simply click on to new entries button and customer will maintain that data this is how real project works in the real projects we always have to keep a shortcut and in our current video we studied if i how to create a shortcut or transaction code for the tables which maintained through sn30 suppose for the better clarity i will take one more scenario suppose now i am going to sn30 transaction code now rather than maintain we are clicking on to display button suppose now whenever you click on to display button everything is in display mode there is it is not in change mode suppose you want to automate this process you want to create a transaction code for this particular thing now what we will do we created a transaction code we'll go to that transaction code we'll go to change code now previously we would put update is equal to capital x update means what we are clicking on to maintain button now we are clicking on to display button now so if i will see the respective property if i will go to f for help now we need to simply use show so sap gave each and everything we just need to check which particular property is applicable to us now if i will use show i will go for save now if i will put that transaction code if i will put that transaction code slash n z o h now you can see everything is in display mode so depends upon the requirement from the customer you need to choose the respective thing you need to choose the respective thing and we saw in the system if you want maintain to be automatically ticked we put update is equal to capital x if you want display to be automatically ticked we put show is equal to capital x so this is the way we can create transaction code or shortcut for the tables which are maintained through sn30 transaction code now what is the summary of the video in this video we studied how to create transaction code for tables which maintained through sn30 transaction code now we studied after that if you want to create your own transaction code sc93 is the transaction code you need to give some name at that time you need to choose the fifth radio button transaction with parameters whenever you are creating transaction code for tables which maintained through sn30 there we gave the transaction code sn30 we skip the initial screen we provided the table name and we put update is equal to capital x x means true so for the maintain button the property is update for the display button update for the display button the property is show and we see all the practical for the same so that's it in this video thank you